Hi guys, Dieter Millhorn here. We're out of Myrtle's Inlet shark fishing. We're on our way home and uh, we decided to drop the boat in the water and see if we can catch one more before we leave. Yeah, we were uh, getting ready to head home and uh, Mama took off on down the road in her van. She had something she had to get to and uh, racing and I, he wanted to go fishing. So uh, we decided to drop the boat in the water. Boom, and we got a fish on right there. You can't fake stuff like this. <laughs> we literally just got the baits in the water, sat down, was getting some stuff together for the video, and bam. Probably a sharp nose coming right to the boat. It'll probably take off running. Bring him on up. Let's see, we'll find the boat here in a second. Yeah, when they see the boat, they generally like to leave. They're like, oh, hi there. They're like, here, I'm gonna hurt your, you know, they're like, here, I'm gonna hurt your stuff for you. Hey, might have to tighten that drag up a little bit. Please do. Is it a sharp nose or can you tell? I can't tell, but it's, it's in another line. It's in the other line too, Dad gummit. Now part of the reason I use these 200 pound leaders is because I can do it, work it with my hand a lot easier than I can with wire. All right, go ahead and step back. I'm gonna lift him in. Very good. Yep, let him spin around. Spin, spin, spin. There we go. <laughs> no, no, no. There he is, folks. Nice Atlantic short nose. Some people have asked about rod holders. I've got two of the flush in deck rod holders that came on the boat, and then I've got two of the uh, monster rod holders. Uh, they say they're a two position rod holder, but I, they're a three position rod holder. You can put that uh, rod up at, I guess, 60 and 45 or 50 and 45, something like that, but you can also lay it out flat. There's a way to put a rod in there. And those are big beefy rod holders and we've had plenty of big sharks fold over uh, fold over a rod and uh, those monster rod holders ain't going anywhere so uh, those are what i'm using to secure everything i've got some smaller ones on the side that i use for my little bait rods but that's what i put the uh, the big money rods in something pop loose did something pop Oh, uh, he's just pulled the hook. Dad, gum it. That was a good run, too. Let's see. Pull it up here. He just never hooked up, did he? That's okay. That's okay. I thought with that good run we got on him. Had a screamer. We had a screamer. I thought we were on a good fish. Just didn't hook up, and that happens. Uh, you don't hook every fish that you go after. So uh, that's fishing. The good thing is that's two bites in a pretty short amount of time. I'm feeling kind of good here, so we'll see. Let's get a bait back out there and see what happens, Slayer. Grayson doesn't like loosing fish. It don't matter what it is. Look at that face. Look at the face. Show him the face, son. Show him the face of pain. Struggles real with that kid. I like it. Oh, no, he is there. Let me get this one your way. There we go. He saw the boat. Let him run. 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 Wow. I must have that drag loose. Sharpie? 
Yeah. Keep that hand on top of her. Oh, there you go. There you go, Slayer. I got eyes on him yet. The Sharpie, he's a feisty one. I think you got him bait at this point. Yeah, keep that hand on there, good. There you go. Heart way harder than it looks. That boy's in pretty good shape too, I'll give him that. A little bit closer, we're gonna try leadering him on up. Give me, see if you can get me some more line back. I'm gonna put him in here. He's probably not gonna do much. He'll go crazy if he gets in the boat. Call him a spinner, maybe? <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. There he is, guys. That's a good one. Nice fish. Get up there, Grayson. Get up there where you can get your face in the picture. <laughs> All right, we're back. It's a good one, guys. Nice fish. Good one. All right, let's get him back in the water. That's how long he was. Okay, good fish. Good fish. What's all that purple stuff? Uh, there he is. Nice shot. Let's get him in. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, uh, we made that drift in, got kind of close to the beach. I uh, didn't pick off any more sharks, so we ran back out about two miles. Got a wind kind of bringing us back in with the current. So we've got uh, two of the uh, spinning rods out, hoping to get on some medium-sized sharks. And we put the big boy out with two huge men hating on there with the tail slid open on them. Back on a balloon, pretty good ways behind the boat. If that one starts screaming, it would be a trip maker. We'll see. I just don't know if there's any big ones in, but you never know when they're going to show up out here. So uh, we got the baits in the water. That's all we can do. Float along here and enjoy a beautiful day on the ocean. See what the ocean gives us. For. Let him take line. That fish came out of the water twice. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. The reason I'm not super excited is because I broke my crimpers and I had to put that crimp on with a pair of pliers. So, I've got that unhappy feeling. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Grayson's gonna be winching on this one for a while because he took about 150 yards of line. He does that. Oh, yes. He's way out. All right, we gotta get some stuff out of the way. Thank you. Let me get some lines in. Let me see if I can get that balloon in too. All right, go ahead. If he, if he lightens up, take one back. back. Hopefully we stay buttoned up on this one. Like I said, I had to put a crimp on that thing with a pair of pliers. My crimpers broke. I'm hoping he got his butt whooped enough. It's a good fish. He came out of the water twice. Good jumps, so we'll see. Grayson's got some work to get this fish in. There he is, just holding on to that rod. Getting tired? There you go, take it back. There you go, work the rod, there you go. Oh, I see the a little bit. I assume he's a big black tip. I see the brown. You see him? Good fish. It's a good one. It's not a super duper. I say leader. Could be one of our better fish this weekend. There 
There you go. He's straight under the boat now. He'll probably make another run, so get ready. There he is. There he is. I saw a sea color. He's not as tired as you are. He probably is. He's trying to go down, but he can't. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. There he is. A little bit closer, we're going to try to lead her in him on up. Give me, see if you can get me some more line back. I'm going to put him in here. He's probably not going to do much. Cause... He'll go crazy if he gets in the boat. I know I'm not the first person to do this, but I bugger gripped a black tip shark. Right, there he is. Nice one. Yeah. You got the phone? Yeah. Got it in camera mode? Fish. Good black tip. That's what we're looking for. Something tried to eat him. All right, guys, I'll get you up to speed on what happened. That all happened quickly. We've just been sitting here drifting. Uh, three rods out, one with uh, some big old men hanging. It got hit and we had a few clicks on it, but I think something just picked off the back end of the bait. Uh, but yeah, we had one of them fold over, uh, free lined out the back of the boat, and uh, it took off. Come out of the water a couple times. We saw it, saw it was a nice shark. Grayson. He worked it the whole time, uh, so no heartbreak on that one. Uh, what I was talking about on the crimps, my crimper broke. Uh, and crimping is how you, it's basically how you connect lines to swivels and that kind of stuff on these bigger, heavier lines and cable. And uh, my crimpers broke, so I basically had to use a pair of pliers to put a double crimp on there. So I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in it, but it held. I looked at it once it got in and it didn't budge. So uh, note to self, get me some crimpers uh, before the trip down here next week. But. All right, guys, gonna call it a day from out here, Merle's Inlet. Had a pretty good day, put five fish in the boat. A couple of decent fish, and uh, we'll be back in a few weeks to try it again. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner, and wait and stay up to date on all the new videos we have coming out. Be sure to leave any comments or questions down in the comment section below. And hey, if you got any shark fishing tips, I'm a novice at this. Leave some comments down there, or you can message me. Love to hear from you.